Hey everybody, today we recorded our fourth episode, Beer 101, and during that episode we discussed glassware. There was one type of glass that I forgot to talk about that I really wanted to bring up, and that is the shaker glass. You guys might know this as the pint glass, which is a misleading term because although it is technically 16 ounces, which is a pint, uh, what that really means is it's 16 ounces if you fill it exactly to the brim. When you get a shaker glass as your glass at a restaurant, you're really getting about 12 ounces of beer plus head, which is not a pint. Um, the problem with this glass is it's terrible. For one thing, it's not actually a beer glass. It's one half of what's called a Boston shaker. If you go to any real bar, when they mix your drink, they're using one of these. They mix in the ingredients, shake it up like this. That's what this is. That's how it was designed. That's what it's meant for. It's not meant for pouring a beer. Uh, why this is a bad thing for beer drinkers, number one, like I already said, you're only getting 12 ounces of beer at a restaurant where if they're using real barware, you'd be getting a full pint. Uh, secondly, it actually isn't good for the beer. You know, when you hold one of these shaker glasses, your hand is completely covering the glass, warming the beer up which isn't necessarily a bad thing for some styles, but most beer you're drinking at a restaurant, uh, you want it cold. And this isn't helping with that. The other thing is, is the open design at the top uh, releases a lot of the aroma and, and that stuff is more contained in other more appropriate beer glasses. So you're losing a lot of that aroma as well. Uh, overall, it's a terrible glass and I hate them. And uh, the more you know, thanks for tuning in. If you want to learn more about glassware and you haven't seen our fourth episode check it out thanks a lot